Getting ready to fly in Botswana's far north. Elephant ecologist Mike Chase has spent years counting savanna elephant from the sky. Never before have we ever conducted a standardized survey for African elephants at a continental scale. All right, start counting. Nice speed, nice height. Well done, Tammy. Hundreds of air crew counted elephants in 18 countries across the continent over two years. Elephant seven. Seven elephants, right? For three hours a day, they flew 10-minute transects at a time, flying the distance to the moon and then some. Their results more shocking than anyone imagined. Flying over areas where elephants historically occurred, but are no longer present in these habitats. Killed for their ivory, in seven short years up to 2014, elephant numbers dropped by a staggering amount, almost one third. Across Africa, their numbers are crashing. If nothing changes, the elephant population will halve in less than a decade. In some areas, they will go extinct. It's incredibly disheartening because I know that historically these ecosystems supported many thousands of elephants compared to the few hundreds or tens of elephants. Some landscapes we saw more dead elephants than live elephants. Botswana is one of the last strongholds of elephant, but now the poaching wars are on its doorstep. Now it seems like there's a disturbing uptick in the poaching on the borders of Botswana and Namibia. I don't think anybody in the world has seen the number of dead elephants that I've seen over the last two years of the Great Elephant Census. And for me, this becomes a lot more personal. It's at home. And, you know, I've often been asked if I'm optimistic or pessimistic about the future of African elephants. And on days like today, I, I feel that we are failing elephants. I thought Botswana had long eluded the ivory wars, but all evidence to the contrary. We will continue to checkpoint two. To fight the war, Botswana has mobilized the army, with more than 700 troops guarding its northern border. Patrols spend days in the bush on foot. They're up against a sophisticated enemy. So they're looking for any sign of poachers. If they come across them, they're often highly organized groups of about 12 people. Two of them could be shooters often. And those shooters are frequently foreign special forces. Slowly, slowly. Mike Chase's research proves that if we can't protect elephants, they will learn to protect themselves. So you can hear him snoring. Huh? Is it a he yeah. or a she? He is in his prime, about 30 to 35 years of age. And it's these young bulls that have the propensity to move dramatic distances and map their transboundary conservation corridors. But their satellite tracking shows that the elephants use incredible levels of intelligence to avoid poaching hotspots in neighboring countries, retreating to the relative safety within Botswana. We're using this technology to safeguard and protect elephants, to find them quickly and respond. It's quite, it's quite incredible being this close to this animal. It is. It certainly is. We called this bull Promise. For the promise that Mike Chase has made to save this magnificent species.